So here we look at heat map. The heat map element shows the count or average values for groups of observations using a color intensity scale. So let's use the airline delay data for instance. So here we'll go to graph and then on the graph builder, we have a place for heat map. So you have this place and then you have the intensities showing. So what you want to put in here is the, the month on the Y. Okay. And then you like to put, let's say, day of the month over here. So this gives us the, the heat map and this shows the bookings or the availability. So you have blue for zero and very red for 120. And you can come in and add labels, uh, max sizes as well. And then you can also customize the graph, chain, do the gradient again. So just like we did for other customizations, you can come in and change what which gradient you're using, um, change the lightness range, the number of, um, so let's make the number maybe a little less and then just to make it fun. And then you can show missing scale type, just customize this and then change this accordingly. So that gives us a very simple heat map that we can have and you can customize this as well. Also, we have tree map and it, it shows the levels or values of a variable as rectangles within a rectangular display. So the rectangle size represents the summary statistic value of the that so let's click that for instance so we just swapped uh, the heat map into a tree map and the value the the rectangle sizes represent summary statistics so this one represents a summary statistics this one presents so the slimmer or well, the different sizes all have that differences um in the summary statistic value of the variables and you have the summary statistic so the summary statistic specify the summary statistic corresponding to the variable in the y zone so you can you can change that accordingly on the on that variable so we won't have any much difference because ours is just one data point it's just month so you won't see any difference in that regard but if you had like a data that had multiple points on that front, it will, it will change that. And then the layout also arranges rectangles to the extent possible by the value ordering of the X variable or by the size of the rectangle. So you can change that to be squarely, to be mixed or to split also. So you can, you can change that accordingly. Then you also have the label transparency. So this specifies the transparency of the floating groups. Then we can come into the tile label. So tile label shows or hides the following labels. You have category label, you have category name, you have category size and all of that. And then you can also change the label size and the label threshold. And then the justification, if you don't want it to be centered, but left and just show the frame on that um, implicit color and then you can just customize that accordingly. Then we also have the mosaic plot. So if you come in here, you can change it to mosaic. The mosaic element uses rectangle sizes to represent the proportion of the observations in categories for one variable across categories of another variable. So you can also do that accordingly. And then you have them in months. So you know that this is January, February. So here was month and we have that here. So it's just showing the proportions of each month and how they look like. It's more like a stacked um, box plot or bar chart and it shows you the proportion of observations 
in in each data point so on day one what is the proportion on day two what is the proportion up to the 31st of that month and over here we also have some options like cell labeling so this also can add the labels to it for us or you can do it by count so for instance you have 82 87 88 85 88. so you have like 56 as the smallest 95 as the biggest on this one and then you can also have the the chi-square test so here it performs a pearson chi-square test and shows results in a label on the graph so you can also put that in there accordingly so that's the result um, let's put this as no label so that's the result of that accordingly and the rest is just customizing you can right click in here and come to color theme and just choose what is um, appropriate for your demonstration and you can flip back through the others as well